Hi guys, welcome back to Karamia's Corner. Join me today for a fun savers junk journal thrift haul. I found some items that I rarely see in our store, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what I found. The first item I spotted was this paper pack of some vintage paper and it looks like an instruction book or a playbook. So let's have a look and see what this included. Now I rarely see this in our savers. They, they are usually big on clothing and other um, decorative items for the home. But these all these items I'll be sharing today, I rarely see at all. So this is $2.99. Let's see if it was worth it. Uh oh, it looks like that piece got caught in the staple. Let me pull that out in just a sec. But first, we are going to have a look. So I love adding manual type paper to your junk journal. Let's see how old this is. And it says, it's a gauge. Pretty cool, I love the color. It's blue, I don't see a year, but it looks pretty old here. Yeah, I don't see a year on that one, but I love the color. Here's another one, uh, instructions for assembling operating vinyl trains. It says for Frankie. Oh, this is super cool. Again, 1946, so definitely vintage. And this would be fun to really add to a junk journal. I love that. So you can just take out the staples and add it. Look at that. That's really cool. And I love the images too. It's really nice. So it looks like we have a couple of them. This was a duplicate. And here's a little piece, a little mailing coupon. That's really cool. I love seeing how they used to advertise their toys. And then we have some paper here that's related to the train stuff and more of that blue sheet. So I'm guessing this is all from the same year. Let's see here. Ooh, so this will be great. Just fun ephemera. Let's see. This is the inspection tag that it came with. I know it's all worn up, but this will be fine. It'd be fun to use again for our collages. Really cool. Again, we have that nice blue color here. Just trying to see what this looks like. Here's the connector. This one's really worn, but fun to use again. And we have this. Love that it has red on it. So that is our first bag of um, junk journaling items. And then we have this one. It has pictures of our little piece here. It is an automatic real world model which is so fun this is so cool probably just flatten this out with a heavy book but how cool is that image that's really awesome and inside we have some training images now the next item i was super happy to find was this bundle of what appears to be vintage um, bias taper, but we'll have a look. So it's $5.99 and I have not looked at it yet. We are going to open up 
this bag and see what it comes with. Oh, wow, look at that. That's a lot. Let's pull out the first one here. So here's some bias tape. We have the red one, some green and yellow, some piping. This is a Wright's Flexi Cloth. Now, I love these and I'd love to include them. I'd love to include some real vintage items in my junk journals. I think this would go great in a sewing journal. 19 cents. Uh, let's see what year. Definitely vintage. I don't see the year. And I love the fact that it also says made in USA, which is awesome. Uh, can you imagine? This was 19 cents back then. Here's one that has a clearance tag. So it was 50 cents for clearance. This might be a little bit newer. And yes, see the tags made in China. So this one's definitely a newer piece. Here's another one, and I'm pretty sure this is also new, made in China. This next piece, beautiful burgundy trim. We have another pink bias tape leftover green and these would be great for the edges of your journal cards we have a, a couple of these in yellow now here we go 35 cents and I love the color iron on seam binding 35 cents that's so cool and made in USA, so definitely the older ones. We have this one, see the price is going up now, 49 cents, wash and wear, wide hem. It doesn't say what the year is, but I'm sure that's vintage. We have this beautiful blue one here. Seam binding again, 25 cents in blue. It's made in the USA. Coral one, really fun. We have some brown. Wow, look at this one. I love the colors. They look like lantern balls and it's embroidered. It just, and there's some writing. It says chocolate. That's really pretty. We have another one here, 15 cents, rayon. This one's a little stained, which is fine because that's what we like to use for our junk journals. The older, the more distressed, the better. Then we have a red one over here. We have a green one. Beautiful lavender. This one's really pretty too. Let me know in the comments below if you guys would like to see a little sewing a junk journal kit in the works, including some of these vintage items. We have some gray and some pink. Love that yellow, a lot of white here. Can probably tea dye that and play around with that. And then we have this blue, kind of purplish too. And another one of these vintage seam bindings by Wrights. And look at this beautiful one. I love this. It's a lace trim. And it is beautiful red, yellow, and I love the floral print on that. Now another item that's hard to come by at our thrift, thrift shops are these um, threads, these spools of thread. And they are pretty expensive in the store. So I, I thought for $3.99, all these varying colors, and I think some of them are vintage too. Let's have a look and see what these look like. So this one said polyester made in Mexico, but what a beautiful color in burgundy. And a thick spool like this would be about 
$2.99 or something at Hobby Lobby. I mean, it varies in price. There's some that are $1.99, but this was such a great deal, so I couldn't pass it up. We have a lavender one, and then a brown one here. Check this out. This is a foam one. It says, um, let's see here, Kmart. This one says Made in USA, and we have that orange coral color. There it goes. Oopsie. Love this kind of teal blue, light teal blue color. Beautiful. Look at this. Made. Its heritage is the brand. 55 cents. So this has to be an older, an older spool of thread. And we have this one, some of the white one, this one is stuck, and this one's really nice and strong, that's really good. And for hand sewing it says, extra strong definitely, for, good for buttons and stuff, that's nice. And we have another one here in our lavender color this is five for a dollar that would be so awesome made in the usa super cool another one of these polyester threads i have a lot of these that will be perfect for my sewing projects And these were five for a dollar. That is a great deal, wow. Now here's a really beautiful blue, look at that. Color fla fast and it's by a brand, Talon. This is definitely vintage, 19 cents. How cool is that? 19 cents for a thread. And then we have this one. Now this one looks a little newer, $1.25 it looks like. Yeah, this looks a little bit probably closer to what we usually see nowadays. And another one here by Clark's. And again, made in the USA, so I am guessing this is vintage as well. And for our last bag of goodies, so this one was $4.99, but I saw the vintage buttons and I was like, I need to get it. I know there's more of the seam binding. Let's see what is in this bag. So our first item is some ribbon. I'm trying to see where it was made. And it says 100% acetate. Interesting. Nice yellow color. This time we have single bias tape. Made in Canada. This one, this time, this is made in Canada. And this one definitely feels really old we have a little closure here perfect for a junk journal i think this is i think for you know your jump jumper suit or your overalls and I'm trying to see if there's a made in the usa so we have that one we have these vintage pink buttons how cute are these love that not sure what this is it might be some measuring piece or something that you add to a handle of a purse it feels pretty sturdy and solid we also have one of these zippers mystic blue 55 cents by talon 1975 how cool is this really nice and i love the color 
more of the rights bias tape beautiful colors different shades of blue 1986 another one of those we have an orange thimble a quilting binding here in red and let's see if this has a year it doesn't say but really cool probably 70s and we have this one here made in usa by home sweet home how cool beautiful kind of gold ribbon goldish ribbon there and the last piece in that bag is a little hand sewing needle by clark's made by millward with large eyes so let's see that's tiny but this is a cool like sewing notion that you can put definitely as ephemera really fun now i have a couple more items um i found this napkin set beautiful set look at this it's white but what caught my eye was this mint little piece that was sewn on and embroidered isn't that beautiful? They only had two. I was hoping they had six or something as a set. But $1.99, I thought it was really pretty. So we have that. Now the last item I got is a non-junk journaling item. It's actually a purse that I found at Savers. And it was $7.99 perfect for everyday use i love it it's easy to carry it has all the compartments i need i love the lining let me just pull it out for you look at this isn't that cool it's in good condition i did not see any brand so i'm thinking these are one of the bags that you usually see at tj maxx or ross but i love that there's a front pocket here zippered pocket there one more in the back and several more pockets inside as well so perfect to use so i hope you guys enjoyed this savers junk journal thrift haul uh, stay tuned for more project shares thanks again for watching caramia's corner see you next time bye